smoke roasted beef on the Kamado Joe, Big Joe. Let's check it out. Got a uh, lump charcoal, uh, mesquite lump charcoal. And I uh, cleaned out the uh, ashes real good and put two big pieces of lump on the bottom there to get the air, keep the air flowing. You don't want to have it too clogged up in there, the air won't flow and you won't get any heat. So you want to keep that convection working. And uh, as soon as that gets a little hotter, I'm going to put the uh, DigiQ barbecue stoker system on there and uh, keep that at about 250 for four hours or so and uh, just I, I like it my beef uh, uh, roast beef how my mom made it that was just basically falling apart so I'm just gonna kinda cook it in a pot like I would in the oven and basically just use the Kamado Joe as a uh, outdoor oven really so I'd probably cook it indoors at 250 for, till it started falling apart and uh, that's what I'm gonna do out here too the only advantage to that is we'll have uh, smoke and a bit of steam going on and I'm gonna cook it in the uh, cast iron skillet out here and basically just get a nice infused smoke infused roast beef on the Kamado Joe. We'll check it out. Alright now I've got the uh, barbecue guru DigiQ system on there. That's the uh, 10 CFM fan down there and uh, you can see how it's hooked up in there. It's got a little flange there and you put the unit in that uh, tube and open it up about halfway. That's how I got that set up. And then, uh, Here's where I keep my um, I keep my um, clip for the uh, pit temp, and that's the uh, coals running real nice. I'm gonna close this down and let this uh, get to work. It's gonna run about uh, oh, I'll probably run that about halfway. Start off with try that out. And then here's the. Uh, Roast, uh, getting browned up in the uh, skillet, and uh, little pauper domes, uh, blackening season on there. A little bit of uh, coarse black pepper, a little bit of salt, and I'll flip that, brown it, get it nice and seared off, and then we'll uh, put the veggies in: uh, onions, garlic, potatoes. Real simple. Put some liquid in there, and then just put it outside, and let it bubble up, and roast inside with the uh, lid on and or actually I'll probably leave the lid off for the first I might leave the lid off for the whole time I just cook it like that with some smoke in there alright there it is before it uh, goes on the uh, Kamado it's uh, browned off a little bit of water potatoes uh, I had some cherry tomatoes in the garden and uh, I just threw one pepper in there cut up the pieces there just real rustic real rough rough cut stuff just to uh, get flavor in there and then I Take all that stuff out of there, drain the juice, and make a gravy out of that uh, later on. So all those flavors will get into that gravy. And, you know, those vegetables are delicious, so that's how I'm going to make it, and that's how I like it. So there we go. That's what we got going on there on the grill. A little bit of uh, cherry wood for smoke. Not much, just four little chunks. The rest of that's uh, mesquite lump charcoal. And uh, I don't know, we'll continue checking this. Uh, couple hours I'll come back out and check it out maybe put that lid on it and then I'll let it cook till it gets nice and tender hopefully three four hours from now so uh, today that DigiQ need to be set to 269 to reach 250 on this um, come out of Joe built-in thermometer. I keep I use this to keep this where I want it. That's just how I'm doing it. You know, you may think, well, maybe it's actually 269 according to that clip. Well, it could be, but internal dome tip, and I know these things are not perfect, and I could probably get another one, maybe be more precise. But um, I just feel more comfortable understanding that that dome temp is 250. I just feel better about the way it cooks and it seems to after cooking a lot of stuff out here that's the way to go so I usually just follow that use this to get there to the temp I want use this to drive it whatever temp it needs to be to get it to that that's how I've been running it all right here's the uh, roast beef <coughs> inside 
uh, off the uh, grill. I'm going to uh, separate the veg and the meat from the juice. Get the grease out of there, just make a nice clean broth out of it, and uh, put some flour in there and make a gravy here. And we'll have a uh, roast beef and gravy with uh, potatoes and veg. Oh, and I made some rice. That'll be good too. Just basmati, good stuff. Here's the uh, gravy, getting thick. It's gonna be real delicious. I gotta turn that down a little bit. Just give it a nice simmer. Start. Let it reduce, put a little flour in there so it'll be good. There's the uh, meats, uh, keeping warm in the microwave until my wife gets home, we can eat. And that's all the veggies on top of the meat, keeping it nice and moist. And boy, that thing's it's falling apart. It's really sweet. We'll eat that in a little, little bit here. And the uh, gravy's getting done. That's it. All right. That's what that gravy looks like. Nice and sweet. And uh, take a bite of this thing. Super tender, just fork tender. Just cut that up like that. Very good. Smoked roast beef on the Kamado Joe. It's real good. It's real good. You'll like that. Make that gravy for sure too. It's real good. Mm-hmm.